Look at it so very easy. My name is Laura and my daughter has given me a pile of t-shirts. She's done with these. They do not fit the family anymore, but she wants me to turn them into t-shirt shopping bags. This is a great way to recycle t-shirts. So any size t-shirt can make a bag. The bigger the shirt, the bigger the bag. So if you want a small bag, we just need to get a small t-shirt. So let's take a look on how to make some of these really simple bags. The bottom of the shirt will be the bottom of the bag. So we will need to cut a little bit in the neckline and cut the sleeves off. Take the t-shirt, fold it in half. So we're gonna match those top shoulder seams. And it's all right if they don't match exactly. We're gonna take this and cut the sleeve off. And the seam allowances do not need to be finished with the t-shirt bags. So we're just gonna cut that arm off. We will now need to make the bag opening. To do that, we're going to just cut off that neckline. When we open it up, those shoulder seams become the handles. So we're going to be able to carry it and put this over our shoulder if we need to. We just need to make sure that the opening is big enough to put stuff in. Now turn the t-shirt wrong side out and just straighten up the bottom and the sides. The bottom is really big so we want to make that bottom just a little bit smaller. Just roughly match up the bottoms and then fold in. It's not important on how much you pull that over because it will all be filled when you use it. From there we need to do a row of stitching. If you have a serger, you can just serge this edge. If you don't have a serger, you could do a row of stitching. Now I would recommend doing a zigzag so that that bottom of the bag will have a little stretch. Take your zigzag and make that stitch so it's a little bit more narrow. So it's almost a straight stitch. And by doing that, that zigzag lets that t-shirt still move without the thread snapping. You could trim off this bottom if you'd like, but I don't mind leaving that extra strength. Now when we turn this t-shirt right side out, the bottom of the bag looks nice and it has a big pleat on that side. So we end up with two pleats on the side and it's just a smaller bottom. But as we fill up this bag, that bottom is going to open up so we can put quite a bit in this because they do stretch. So that's one bag ready to go. There is a way that we can take these shirts and build a little holder in them so the t-shirts fit in those holders. We're gonna start, match up those seams, cut those arms out, trim the neckline, and then we need one sleeve. Clean up those edges and take off all of that bulk. So now we have that one sleeve. We're gonna put the sleeve in the bottom Fold those edges over and take that edge that we cut and put it in the bottom and you're going to stitch right over top of the shirt and right over top of that opening of that sleeve. So we're going to have all of these edges finished. So we have that sleeve stitched into the bottom. We now can take that entire t-shirt and put it right inside of that sleeve. So the t-shirt bag is now inside of that sleeve. Pop it open and we could turn that right side out and the bag's ready to go. And if you have a tank top, you might not need to do any cutting up at the top. If it's stretchy enough to go around your shoulder, all you will need to do is finish off the bottom. If you have a t-shirt with a pocket, we want to be sure not to cut the pocket. 
because we're going to be able to use that pocket. Match up those shoulders and neck. And I'm going to leave it so the pocket is on the top so I can make sure I don't cut it. Take off the sleeves, cut the neck, fold the bottom, and stitch that bottom. When that bottom is done, we're going to be able to use this pocket to store the bag. Just stick all of that t-shirt right inside the pocket. So the pocket makes a holder for the bag. So we can use the pockets as carry-in cases. Put the sleeves in the bottom to turn those into carry-in cases or just cut them up and get them ready to be used. They're a lot of fun to make and they really do make cute bags. And the bags, being that they're t-shirts, really stretch, which means we could put a lot in there. I can get these out to my daughter now and maybe I'll pull out a couple of my old t-shirts and make some for myself. It's a great way of recycling those t-shirts that, well, we don't need anymore. And thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're making next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.